morning welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video today's video is a last minute fault it's literally just happened and i know so many of you are gonna absolutely love it i certainly am gonna love what we're just about to go and see but before we get into that just quickly i wanted to give you a quick update on a couple of bits a lot of you do always ask the motorbike the honda cbf 125 that sold last night for a thousand and fifty pounds and that is exactly what i advertised it for and i had five or six people all rigging me up going crazy for it so i stuck to what i wanted for it and that's gone i will need to go back and work out what it did cost but i believe we've done it just under 700 pounds so i had about a pre-tax profit of about 300 350 pound out of that the Land Rover LSE, I noticed in every video I put out, always a few people that said, Rob, can we have a bit of an update on that? And the update is really simple. We are ready to start welding the car up, but we are waiting for a new welding mask. It's on order, and they said three working days. That was last week, and it still hasn't arrived. As Soon as that comes back, we'll be straight back on that car. And if the country does go into a bit more of a lockdown, then we will be concentrating on just that because that is the only thing that we have got in the workshop to work on. The Sierra Cosworth, we can't pick up till Monday or Tuesday and John's going to be dropping his van off later today or tomorrow. So we'll definitely be doing that one day next week as well. So a friend of mine reached out to me, asked me, Rob, can you get a set of wheels refurbed? I've watched your video at that place. I said, absolutely. He dropped them off to me. He does live an hour drive away from me and he said he'll come back and get them when it's convenient. Now I can't leave the wheels down there until it's convenient for him. And I don't, you know, we can't store them. I don't want to mark them. So I've had his wheels done. They're for an old Land Ro uh, Range Rover. I've got two in the back, one in the boot and one on the floor down here in the front. I know I'm back in the focus. I picked this up from the paint shop this morning. I've had the door handle done and I've had the whole back door painted because it didn't quite match. So that's the update and all the stuff. Now my friend's dad has got two very, very rare BMWs. When I say rare, I mean they don't come any rarer than one of them. He has an E30 M3 BMW that has been locked away in his garage for 15 years. And I said to him, I will bring the wheels back to you if I can see your dad's M3 and talk to him. I don't know if it's for sale. He's had it sat there. I believe it's a bit of a nest egg. And he also has a very rare Z4M. So he's agreed that I can see him. So I've chucked a bit of diesel in the Focus. I've taxed it because I'm going to be running around in it for the next 200 miles, doing the snags on it. And um, I said, I'll run them down, but I must see them cars. So he's arranged it with his dad and we're heading there now. I've just pulled up up the road. We're about 20 minutes away. So let's get down there and have a good look around them. And I do hope you enjoy it as usual. If you do, drop your comments in the comment section down below. So I've just come into his garage, guys. But honestly, it's so cram-packed tight in here. I literally can't even get round the car. But real beautiful thing, and it has been here 15 years. They pulled it off the road to do the common bulkhead issue. So the dashboard has been out of it. And as you can see, it's not been completed. It's not all been put back in there properly, but beautiful car really really rare I mean, look at the size of that spoiler it does have the wrong wheels on it but that was the thing to do back in the day i suppose upgrade with wheels like that the size of these wheel arches let's open that bonnet original e30 m3 how beautiful is that They only made these cars, apparently, in left-hand drive. There was no right-hand drive models of this car. 
But yeah, what a absolute lovely bit of kit. I really hate seeing these cars covered in dust with, um, well, I don't quite know what prints they are, but I don't like to see it. It's not never nice to see. But what a lovely, lovely thing. Underneath the sheet here, he was just telling me I can't actually get to it because there's no way of getting to it. There's also a original rare BMW E46 Alpina convertible, which would have been really lovely to look at. Or E30, yeah, E36, I'm sure he said. And then I actually got this one wrong. This is a Z3N, not a, not a Z4. And uh, he was just telling me these engines in these um, Z3Ms, they used to put the E36 M3 engine, but this is actually the E46 M3 engine, which is a lot, lot better and makes it the value of it a lot, lot more. But again, it's so tight, I just can't even get in there to show you it. But he just said to me, it's a completely original car. We'll try and whip the cover up on the side of it in a minute and get a bit of a side shot. But yeah, this M3, it blows me away. Every time I see cars like this, it just, I just want to take them home, clean them and put them back together. But unfortunately, some people, they, you know, they've got this stuff, it belongs to them and they don't want to do anything with it apart from what he's doing at the moment, sat where it is, but it's got quite a few pieces off. And he did say that eventually he is going to finish it and I can come down and have a proper look at it once it's washed up. But yeah, check out that spoiler. And then it's got this additional bit here that flicks up and round. So I was just looking at the, where that back pillar there meets the roof and it's just completely different to a normal E30. And I believe that every panel on this car, or most of them, are completely different to a standard E30 car. Obviously the flared wheel arches and the front wings are all different and the roof, you can see, is completely different. So let's move back onto that Z3. So you wouldn't believe the little hole I've just had to cram myself through to get in here. Literally, we've got that much gap between the door and the wing and I've poked my head in here. He's just said to me they only made 160 of these cars and it is more rare than that M3. And I found that quite shocking, but he knows his BMWs because he's got a collection of five of them. So let's get a little picture of the outside if we can. So unfortunately the access is just not brilliant. We're not gonna see loads, but this is pretty much the best that we are gonna see of the side of it, I'm afraid, and I know it's not brilliant. Look how wide those back wheel arches are. Absolutely incredible. Hopefully when he does get these out in the summertime, we can come back and have a real, real good look at them and look all the way round. I do hope that was worth the effort. I mean, it was a spare at the moment thing. My friend lives in Harlow, so I've literally just delivered him them wheels purely because I wanted to make a video with what's going on in the world. I know quite a lot of you can't get out, so I just want to make as much as I can. And I just can't sit indoors. It's not me, I'm not that sort of person. Fortunately, Chris is just up the road, so we will continue doing as much as we can. I have been into the workshop this morning and half recorded a video. Chris was cracking on with that mower for a Sunday video. And also why I was just there at my friend's house, he has got a two stroke Rotax go-kart covered in dust that he hasn't used it for five years. So I can't really afford it at the moment, but I have left him a bid because I think that make fantastic content for another little Sunday bonus video. And I didn't want to put it on the video and show you guys because I know that I'll get inundated with messages saying, buy it, you've got to buy it, you've got to get it. And 
like I said, I've left him a bid, and if he accepts it, then I guess we'll have a go-kart on the channel for a Sunday video. But with the uncertainty at the moment, my friend has pulled the plug on me. He is not buying my Ferrari. And to be honest, I don't see anybody buying it anytime soon until we know actually what is going on. So I really can't afford to go out and buy a load of projects, especially after buying the um, RS Cosworth. So at the moment, we're just gonna crack on with what we got. I've got quite a lot planned. Like we're picking the Cosworth up Monday stroke Tuesday. We're doing the face lift, face lift conversion on the van. Um, I've got the focus back today. I need, I've bought a new boot carpet, new wheel arch covers for it, parcel shelf. We're gonna be doing all that, getting the seats washed. So, you know, we can make another video on this. It's no, it's no big deal. And then I can advertise it and get it sold. So we got plenty to come. Don't panic, I'm gonna upload as frequently as I possibly can that, you know, that's gonna allow me. As long as I can get out of the house and get to the yard, I'm gonna keep on providing for you. Thank you all very much for watching. Please stay safe at the moment. Take good care of yourselves. Check out the merch, link is in the description. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you very soon in the next one.